Hey guys, it's JStars360 here with my review of My Neighbor Totoro. This is in the Miyazaki film. The, of course it's a Miyazaki film. But I'm trying... Let me just briefly sum up the story for those of you who either haven't seen the movie or don't remember it. It's about these two girls who move into a new house. Their mom has a disease. It's implied it's tuberculosis, but they never say it. And the girls are chilling out and they bump into this guy, creature called Totoro and... That's basically it. So, what I think of the film. I enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't great or anything. I mean, I can see why people really... Can, I can see people really liking this one. I can see why the two little girls are adorable. One of which is voiced by Dakota Fanning, which I find kind of interesting. Totoro looks great. But let's talk about why I like it. Story, so... You know, it's kind of a mixed bag, because story-wise, there's some good stuff. I mean, the story, it's shorter than Miyazaki's other films, which, you know, is kind of nice, I guess, if you want, don't want to sit there for two hours. And it flows very nicely, and although it does drag, I mean, not much happens, but I think that works to the film's benefit, because it's just giving you a slice of life, and... And the film, so the film is a very laid-back approach. There's a lot of time of just characters breathing and just taking in the world, and I think that's really cool. And also, this film is good for kids. I mean, Miyazaki's, at least the films I've, the three other films I've reviewed so far by him, they're kids, some of which I would not recommend to kids. I mean, Castle in the Sky is probably the most, one I'd recommend to kids the most, but they're all really either dark, unpleasant, or complicated. This one, kids can watch. I mean, it's bright, it's colorful, it's energetic, it's easy to follow. There's a bunch of little girls as the focus, so little kids can watch it. And I also like the two little girls in this movie. There's not much to them, but they're kind of adorable, and they seem believable. Like It feels like this is what two little girls would do. And... I also like how whenever they they find something, they don't go the whole butting heads. I swear I saw Totoro! No, you didn't. You're crazy. They don't go that route at all. I mean, usually, I mean, the girl, the older girl believes her. The dad, I'm, it's not really clear whether or not he believes them or is just playing along. But I'm glad they went that route and they didn't go the whole denial, like, which I thought was nice. I mean... There's films like Narnia where they just where the char characters trying to convince the others that what they just experienced is real, and it it's refreshing to see one where they're just I mean even if they don't believe it they're just willing to go along with it just to be nice and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, animation wise it looks really good. There's a lot of really nice creatures in here as is Miyazaki's specialty. Totoro, I thought looked pretty good. His animation was good. I wish he had more screen time, though. He's not in the movie as much as I thought he was going to be. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. I also like how they never explain who or what Totoro is. These fantasy elements exist, but they're never explained, which I think is kind of interesting. I mean, I guess I could read more into that if I want to, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, again, so animation, fantastic. I mean, Miyazaki's clearly stepped it up since his previous films. I mean, these environments look beautiful. I mean, the house looks beautiful. The character animation, well, I don't think it... It's pretty good. And, you know, even if I'm not entertained, at least this movie's nice to look at. Like, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy Totoro, but I'm saying there are moments where I wasn't really into it. I'd still be like, wow, this is really beautiful to look at. Um, cr again, creatures look great. I love the cat bus. That was a great design. Um, I also like how this film, it, there's a lot of moments where it'll just be no dialogue, just taking the atmosphere. Like, I thought, a nice scene I thought was when they're waiting at the bus stop and y there's no talking, you just hear the rain, and it really brings you into the experience. Like, it, you just feel the rain coming down, or when Totoro walks by. It's just a nice scene. I feel like Samurai Jack, its style, storytelling of just taking the atmosphere, I feel like Miyazaki influenced that a bit, and I, and I really like that technique. So why am I not going crazy over this film? Why don't I think it's amazing? Well, 
Again, I like it, but I don't think it's Miyazaki's best. I mean, for one thing, this there's not much to this film. I mean, it's just, again, it's just life as it is, which I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's a really interesting thing to do, but, you know, I don't know. I guess as I get older, I want more sophisticated stories, like things with a bit more to them. And this film is pretty simple, especially in comparison to... To Miyazaki's other films, and I think part of that comes from the fact that this film is definitely geared more so t towards kids than the other films. I was getting that vibe, and so the, I don't know, there were a couple moments when it was a little cheesy or childish. Again, I was cool with it, but I don't know. Some of his, oh, his other films weren't that childish, and I do wish that you know he had kind of stayed in the family zone, but. That's fine. If he wants to do something just for children, that's cool. Um, I don't like how they just wrapped up most of the story during the credits. They did that in The Valley of the Wind, and I wasn't big on it. It was a bit better here. And again, it, in the sense that, you know, the story took its time, and I didn't feel like they were rushing. The ending felt rushed at all. I just, I don't know. I guess, again, it's not really anything that bothers me that much, but I, I would have just liked it if everything had wrapped up before the credits. But yeah, better than Valley of the Wind, where I, it was just on fast forward at the end. And it, and the credits, it just felt more like an epilogue. Valley of the Wind, it felt like they were pretty much just wrapping up everything. Um, characters, um, there's not much to them, which is, uh, kind of bothers me. I mean, the characters really, I mean, they're charming, but they're not that interesting. I mean, there's not much to them, and I... I think a lot of that comes from being a children's film and the fact that Miyazaki's trying to keep everything simple. But, so, again, I can't really complain much, but... I... But that does kind of bother me. I guess I'm, you know, I'm... a big guy, and I... You know, not saying I don't hate children's films, but... I like children's films made for everyone, and this film, while it's made for everyone, I feel like it's more for kids and adults can kind of enjoy it. I mean, this isn't like Pixar, where the films are literally like anyone can watch this film and really enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> Again, not saying you can't do this with Totoro, but I don't know. Totoro, I feel like it's more geared towards younger kids than other Miyazaki films. Um, the dub on The Little Boy, I did not like it. I mean, the, the eight, I swear... The voice they got for the boy is much younger than the boy actually is. Like, it's this, like, this boy looks, has, like, a baby voice, and he does not look that little. I mean, it's, like, the age the little girl is, that's the kind of voice the boy had. And the boy is more the older girl's age, so I don't know what went wrong there, but it kind of bothered me, kind of took me out of it. Presentation-wise, nothing really against it, except I just wish this film was a bit more creative than Miyazaki's other films. Again, it's cool if he wants to do something a bit more realistic, but I just prefer it when he goes really out there and goes nuts on the creativity, like Castle in the Sky, where he, it was just amazing. And there wasn't that much flying in this movie. I mean, there was like a kid playing with a plane, and they fly up to Toro, but there wasn't as much as in his other films. Again, it doesn't ruin the film, it doesn't destroy the film, it's just more preference than anything. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on my neighbor Totoro. Again, I enjoyed it. I just don't think it's Miyazaki's best. But that's my opinion. Again, if you love this film, great. I envy you. Wish I could enjoy it as much as you. But, again, I'm... Okay, it was just a little too childish for me. Again, not saying I didn't hate it. I liked it. I just wasn't going crazy over it. This is J-Stars 360, signing out.